Welcome back inside the Switzer Center. We're proud to be joined by Bobby Jack Wright, the defensive ends coach at Oklahoma. What's going on, coach? Oh, just another signing day. You know how that is. <laughs> uh, you feeling okay? I know you've been battling some crud, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, you can't keep an old guy like me down. <laughs> <laughs> at OU underscore football. Send us your questions. The OUIT score, uh, store. I meant to give them a big shout out. Thanks so much for your support. You got to get by the OUIT store and get registered for all the great stuff that they have. And they're helping support our coverage here today online at Soonersports.com. Coach, defensive ends, defensive line class. We're going to look at a lot of highlights coming up here in just a bit. How are you feeling about the guys you got? Good, real good. You know, we. Uh we had some needs that we needed to address, and I, I think we were able to do that. We went out and uh, brought in a junior college guy, and Chaz Nelson, uh, really good player, explosive guy, brings a little more speed uh, to our defensive end unit than maybe we've had in the past. So really excited about him. He was the defensive player of the year in the junior college league that he was in. Let's look at him. Let's and, take a uh, look at some highlights from Chaz yeah. Nelson, who is already on campus and is yeah, a guy exactly. we're going to talk to later. Yeah, exactly. No, Chaz came in at midterm, and uh, we're really excited about him. I think he's got a great chance to uh, be very, very productive here. You know, a defensive end coach, I mean, you, you can see the natural ability. How much does he need to improve? Where does he need to get better? Well, it's just like anybody. I mean, he, he needs to improve in every area, and he knows that. Uh, you know, he, he, he's a guy that uh, is very, very conscientious. He knows what his, his strengths are. He knows what his limitations are, but he also knows that uh, – you know, he, he's got to raise the level of play. He's, he's not going to be playing junior college anymore. <laughs> he's going to be playing a little, little tougher competition. So strength, speed, you know, Smitty will, Smitty will take care of all those uh, areas over there in that off-season conditioning. And then just learning our schemes is, as much as anything as a, as a new guy coming in from the junior college ranks. And then, of course, there's Michael Anoha. Who's Michael gonna... Anoha is a really interesting guy, very, very athletic from up in Edmond, Santa Fe. Uh, came on kind of late, and uh, we, we got on him late, but we're fortunate enough to, to get him to, to come be a Sooner. You can see there, uh, explosive guy, very athletic, got a lot of speed about him. Very, very raw talent. He's got, you know, he's got a, a lot of learning to do, and he's got to learn technique. Uh, got, a, you know, he's not played football, but a, but two years, so uh, he he's got a lot of upside. But he's very, very athletic. He he's good looking, Michael and long, long and lean, and and uh, very quick. There's Charles Tapper, who apparently is a heck of a basketball player to go along with a solid rush in. Charles Tapper is a, is a heck of a, uh, an athlete. He's a big guy, 6'5", 250, very athletic, as you mentioned, really good basketball player. Uh, he's, he averages about three dunks a game uh, for his high school team. He's averaging about 17, 18 points a game with 15 rebounds. So as you can see there, big guy, he's a little bigger. He's about 250 right now, but got great speed, great explosion. And really good pass rusher. You see him uh, whacking these quarterbacks around. <laughs> That's Charles Tapper, a big, solid body. And you can see even dropping into coverage if necessary at yeah, times. Yeah, exactly. That fits in perfect for us with all the zone blitzes we do and everything where we drop our ends quite a bit. He's already been in a high school package similar to that where they drop him in coverage. And you saw him there making the interception. So that's it's kind of neat. It's exciting for those defensive ends to, to make plays like that. You know, it's kind of interesting because when you look back historically on signing day, Coach, defensive ends have been flocking to the University of Oklahoma. Think back to Frank Alexander. R.J. Washington was one of the top recruits in the state of Texas. And it usually seems as if it takes them a little bit of time. You know, R.J. really started to come on last year. Frank had his best year that we've seen in a Sooner uniform. Is there an adjustment sometimes for defensive when they well, get on there's, campus. there's an adjustment for anybody that, that goes from high school to the college level. Uh, just like there'll be an adjustment for Chaz Nelson coming out of the junior college ranks to the college level. In, or, or our guys going to the NFL. There's always an adjustment period. And the guys that, that, that can process it the fastest, the guys that can learn it, the guys that can handle everything, from the mental aspect, the faster they can learn it, then, then the faster the transition goes. The physical aspect of it, 
uh, usually takes care of itself. How do you feel about your depth on the defensive line? Oh, we're good. Uh, no, we, our, our depth is good. We got we only lost two guys this year, and we signed three, so we we've gained one. <laughs> so uh, you know, you always want to, you know, you always want to have as many as you can have. But, uh, you know, with an 85 scholarship limit, then, then obviously we're limited to, to how many people we can have at each position. But we're good at the defensive end position from the standpoint we've got probably seven, I think seven guys on scholarship and a couple of walk-ons. So our depth is good. Our depth was good last year. And, and what I, you know, you guys know I like to play as many of those guys as I can uh, and keep them all fresh and in the rotation as long as they're productive. Uh, now, you know, the, the key word there being productive, the, the guys that come in and, and take snaps, they've, they've got to be guys that are making plays. Tweet at us, at OU underscore football. Send us a note. Send us a question. You'll have an opportunity, thanks to the OUIT store, to win tickets to the OU spring game. We've got one we're going to ask here in just a bit from uh, Dalen Cowden. We'll get to that in just a second. But, Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. First opportunity we've had a chance to hear from you as Sooner fans since Mike Stoops takes over as a defensive coordinator. Brent goes to Clemson. What's, what's going to change? Oh, I don't know that, that a lot will change from the standpoint of our defense. Mike's been running very much the same defense that, that we've run uh, while he was out at Arizona. So, you know, n not a lot from the standpoint of scheme and things like that. But there'll be some things that Mike tweaks uh, that he likes to do maybe a little bit differently than, than, than what Brent did. Uh, not, nothing major, nothing dramatic. Uh, I'm, we're glad to have Mike back. I, I'm, I'm anxious to work with him again. Mike and I have uh, had a great relationship and have, and have continued to have a great relationship during the time he was at Arizona. Our staffs has visited uh, back and forth uh, during the time that he's been out at Arizona. So uh, it's almost like he never left, you know, <laughs> getting him back in the office. And uh, it, it's, it's been fun. So it, it, it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Uh, I know our players are anxious to, to get around him and get to know him, and they'll enjoy playing for him. Coach, you're always viewed as a very solid recruiter, and it's because you're able. You're very personable, obviously, but you create great relationships. What What does it mean to be able to have the brand to sell to? There's one thing to be a good recruiter. There's another thing whenever you're able to have facilities and a university like Oklahoma. Well, the, the brand, the brand obviously is everything. Uh, selling, selling the University of Oklahoma uh, certainly is not as hard as, as selling East Handkerchief State. Uh, you know, that'd be a little more difficult. But uh, we, it, it always has something to do with your product. And we've got a great product to sell here. And then, then the rest of it comes with, with what you just mentioned, building relationships, gaining people's trust, uh, being able to bring families here, play, recruits and their families here, and letting them know that, uh, you know, that this is a special place. And uh, the, the great thing about Oklahoma is they're going to have a legitimate and again, the, the key word being legitimate a chance to play for a championship every every year, get a quality education, have a lot of fun while they play here. And if it all works out, uh, you know, in the grand scheme, they win a championship, they get a degree and they get to go play in the NFL. Like Frank Alexander. Uh, uh, there you go. Who apparently has been getting rave reviews from scouts, as has Ron L. Lewis. I, I, my phone has been bl <laughs> just blowing up the last couple of weeks. Really? With the scouts calling about Frank and, and, and Ron L. as well. So certainly we wish them the, the very, very best. They did a great job while they were here. Uh, lo love both those guys to death. They made a great contribution. And, and we'll miss them, but we're going to move on. Real quick, before we let you go, Coach, and question off Twitter from Dalen Cowden again at OU underscore football shoot us a note you can win tickets courtesy of the OUIT store and it kind of leads into our recruiting question or at least dovetails off of it coach Wright do you enjoy visiting prospects during the recruiting prospect and getting to know them personally oh yeah absolutely that, that that's part of it uh, if you don't enjoy that aspect of it then you're probably not going to uh, enjoy recruiting number one and you're probably not going to be very good at it uh it, it's it's actually th there's a certain amount of uh fun if you will even though it's a job and you, and and there's a certain amount of pressure that's involved but there's a lot of fun in going around the country meeting different people uh meeting the families moms and dads seeing where they went to college what their background is 
uh, and then getting to know the player and the family, uh, you know, in a personal way. So th those things are a lot of fun. Uh, getting to know Charles Tapper up in Baltimore, Maryland, being around his mom and, and his family, re really enjoyable, uh, great people. Uh, I, kid, I kid his mother uh, about the fact in that in that community, she's like the godfather. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows that lady. They all come by to see her. They all. I, I was up at a basketball game and watching her one one night in the stands. And everybody that walked in the gymnasium went over to see Mrs. Tapper and said hello to her. And and everybody in the community knew that lady. And you could tell, you know, she's a pretty special lady in that community. So it's always neat to see the the you know little nuances of those relationships very cool with that question dalen wins a pair of tickets to the ou red white go game ahead on, on April 14th. Golly. <laughs> that's courtesy of the ouit store we'll give away uh, more pairs eight more pairs today to fans whose questions to the ou underscore football twitter page or the ou facebook page are selected for today's broadcast remember tickets to the spring game are just five bucks you can purchase them at either SoonerSports.com or 800-456-GO-OU just got a word in that will the two letter of intent has hit the fax machine so the names continue to roll in coach Wright, thank you so much we hey, appreciate it's a it pleasure thanks good to have him on bobby jack Wright, defensive ends coach love hanging out with him here at SoonerSports.com. now don't go anywhere because we have more coaches coming up so stick around we're breaking down the 2012 signing class right here with you and your questions at ou underscore football there's that fax machine the one day a year when the fax machine is relevant again keep the questions coming at ou underscore football and thanks to the OUIT store for all of their support today during our coverage of signing day 2012.